I think you've been told before that your cosmetic product is not safe and it should be free from X, Y and Z ingredients because it's going to give you cancer or disrupt your endocrine system. But let's find out how things are defined when it comes to safety. I will use a tree analogy to help you understand how things or ingredients are defined as safe. I will use a good example like paraffin and a bad example like arsenic in cosmetic products. As you can see above me, there is a beautiful green tree that represents the body of evidence when it comes to safety of parapins. Each green leaf represents a study that found out and concluded that parapins are safe. But that does not exclude the fact that in the red circle inside the picture, there are few leaves that are dying or yellow, let's say, and those represent study that found some type of concern when it comes to safety of parapins. But you don't have to go close and in detail when, when you try to define safety. You have to take a few steps back and look at the whole body of evidence and weight of evidence when it comes to the uh, safety of an ingredient like paraffin. If we took a few steps back and look at the picture, we will find a live, green, beautiful tree that represents the safety of parapins. If we look at the second example, the yellow tree above me represents the body of evidence when it comes to safety of arsenic in cosmetics. You look at the tree, it's yellow, All, most of the leaves are yellow and dying, so each leaf represents that a study concluded that arsenic in cosmetic is not a good choice because it's very toxic and that's why arsenic is banned currently in cosmetics and makeup. There are some few green uh, leaves in that tree because it, uh, arsenic when used in uh, cosmetics and uh, skincare product long time ago it was found to be very potent when it comes to inhibiting the uh, hyperpigmentation in the skin it has a very potent uh, lightening effect for your skin but the whole body of evidence if we take a few steps back like we did with parapins we can find out that the whole picture represents a dying tree a dangerous tree a not very beautiful tree and that's how safety of ingredients is defined. It's not about a, uh, an ex-person online showing you an article or an abstract on PubMed saying parapins are bad. It's not how uh, ingredient safety is decided. So the safety of a certain ingredient is decided by a group of experts and specialists looking at a big amount of data and studies in vitro data, in vivo data, animal data, sometimes human uh, data, plus some also other type of the next generation when it comes to in silico and weight of evidence and for example alternative methods for testing when it comes to safety. All of this will be concluded by the regulatory body that are consisting of a panel of experts, specifically independent experts in most time, and then deciding what is safe and what is not. We don't look at an individual papers, individual article or even news article. Some people on TikTok, on social media, pulling out a green screen with an article behind them saying that um, this ingredient is toxic or an endocrine disruptor. That is not how things are decided. It's not decided by one paper, one research or one article. It's a body of evidence. What the majority of uh, evidence suggests if this ingredient is safe or not.